Alright, hey guys, um, how's everyone doing? So, I know I've been away a while, uh, probably because, um, I've been, been real big on, uh, this game, actually. DCS A10, um, actually, uh, all of the DCS, uh, I've got the A10, I've got, um, the P51, I've got a couple other things and I've actually really really have been enjoying it um, it's been really good fun uh, just learning the systems and everything it's, it's it's not it's not the easiest thing to get into but once once you you know figure everything out it becomes pretty uh pretty good and fun I mean just got a new joystick uh, the x55 Rhino so I've been uh, setting that up with this and working on you know trying to uh, master this sim which is pretty awesome and I really wish more people would you know play DCS it uh, especially like the p51 I mean they've got the Dora and the uh, 109 in there now so, uh, and from what I understand, there's going to be a bunch of uh, new aircraft coming along, new uh, World War II era aircraft, and that should be a good time. So, hopefully, people start uh, playing that more often. And it's not, I'm not going to be not playing, uh, I'm not going to be not playing Cliffs anymore because Cliffs is freaking awesome just you know I've really been into this so but right now I'm just gonna uh, ask for some rearming here uh, get my payload going uh, I could probably go ahead and start starting up my engines and such starting up my uh, my systems um, turn the APUs and such on get the throttles going well, not the throttle, but the fuel going. And close my canopy because it's kind of loud out there. So. Rearming complete. All right, we're good. We're good to go on the rearming portion of this. So I got some Mavericks, some uh, cluster bombs, and some uh, just general purpose bombs. And start up engine number one. Put my CDU and Iggy, get them started going to a line. It took me a while to figure out that I need to turn the CDU and the Iggy on and get them aligned before I do anything else. Because at one point my uh, weapons weren't talking to my airplane, my systems weren't talking to each other at all. So let's go ahead and wait for them to align. While my engine starts up, there you go. Now it's coming online. Get my radio's turned on. Still haven't figured out all the ins and outs of you know managing the radios and this, that, and the third. But you know, I've only been, I've only got about maybe a hundred hours in in this particular uh, sim this particular aircraft so a lot of it's been trying to figure out how to uh, get all the systems going taking off and everything and uh, putting putting ordnance on target which this has been a really really fun time I've got my engine number two spooling up there all right we'll wait till that gets to 60% uh, like my uh, CDU and my Iggy are almost aligned. Then uh, turn on my oxygen. Check my fuel. Just waiting on that to go. Can't do this until uh, 
the uh, CDU and the AGI are aligned and I've loaded my data from my pre-flight stuff so let's wait for that to go looks like we're aligned now turn on my kick view Put my screens on both engines are running good yep, 60 and 60 so we can go ahead and shut our APU off and our uh, if you generate it, oh, I forgot to turn it on. Oh, well, I guess it worked out. So, I'm waiting on that to happen. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my, uh, my SAS pitch and my yaw SAS. And take off trim it out. Should be the last step to turn on the uh, anti-skid, but I just get it out of the way right now. So waiting for these systems to come online go ahead and uh, load my data from my DTS put my uh, countermeasures to standby and once this all loaded we should have asterisks right next to uh, yep, there it goes and then that uh, white display goes away so go ahead and uh, turn on my tad engage my pre-flight bit tests here to the CDU go ahead and upload my nav data select Iggy it's our form of navigation skids on it took me it took me a while to you know get real comfortable in uh in doing this so I'm just gonna wait till everything turns on. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my targeting pull pod up, and my up. laser. Altitude, altitude. Alright, so the test is done. Go ahead and down here to exit. I'm gonna go ahead and put my CCIP control to three nines. Set my weapons, uh, 30 millimeter. Let's go ahead with that. Minimum altitudes. We're gonna go with uh, about 800. 800 won't hurt anything. Let's go ahead and store that. And turn on my systems. All right, we're good to go with that. All right, it's time to start setting on my weapons. What I like to do is, I just like to get my Mavericks aligned before I even take off. That way, you know, I don't have to deal with it in flight. And set up the profiles for my uh, my bombs, cluster bombs. Right here. We're gonna go with pairs. I'm going to go for a release time of 10 and a minimum altitude of 1500 actually I'm going to clear that I kind of want 2000 don't really want to get too close to the ground for all that so Set, it, set this one up the same way. Ah, shit. See, I did it again. So, 2000. Oh, let me do that. I will set it at none. Go ahead and save that. So, that's good to go. Weapons are aligning. Missile time, you can see it's already been a minute and 20 seconds. Should be coming online here in a little bit. Go to Mav, Mav's not aligned yet. TGP's up and running. So go ahead and make that, uh, make that our display. And we'll change it over on this side once we get closer into the targets. Right now, what I'm gonna do is, uh, go ahead and start taking, getting ready to taxi for the runway. 
Let me go ahead and arm my seat. So, all right, I think we're good to go ahead and taxi for the runway. Uh, probably gonna climb up to about twelve thousand, maybe, maybe a little bit lower. That way, uh, we have altitude and some, acquire some ground targets, shoot them up, and uh, come back home and land hopefully without getting shot up. So, all right, let's go on ahead. Just gonna make my uh, tad display soy. Turn on my nose wheel steering. That way, you know, I can get around. Alright, we are good to go. Now, the reason I'm using uh, the departure clearances and stuff like that is because it never actually works out for me. So, see, they never talk back to me. So, it might be because some settings I need to do on my radios or I'm not sure what it is but I'll live with it go ahead and taxi to the runway everything's good EAC now see this thing doesn't turn on for me until I'm in flight so but we'll deal with that as you can see our flight plan we're gonna go out from Batumi got a hard right turn the target should be about waypoint three or four uh, go in there drop our ordinance and uh, get out come back home and land so good to go all right here we are turning on to uh, the uh, front to be that little river down there actually the one past that all right I'm at about 12,700 gonna level off here uh, go ahead and go over to my uh, targeting pod center that start a uh, look at the targets do is uh, use my Mavericks first, get them out the way and then start dropping cluster bombs. I already put it into a uh, white hot mode so things should be popping up here in a little bit. Go ahead and scan the area. See? There we go. Then go with this target and put that on a point. Make, uh, make my TGP my sensor of interest. Uh, I was like a maverick. Alright, so we are on target. Go ahead and uh, arm my weapons. Swing my Maverick over to uh, the uh, targets. Right now we should be picking them up. But we're not locking on to the targets yet. There we go. Now we're locked. So, should be able to rifle this. Rifle. And watch it go straight into the target. And rifle that one also. Make that soy. Should we have an impact here in about 15 seconds? Zoom out. That'll be, that'll be two down, hopefully. Oh, splash. 
second one should be coming in four, three, two, splash. Ooh, that was pretty. That was pretty. Let's go ahead and uh, get that one locked on. Getting balls out of range, so I'm gonna have to circle around. Warning, autopilot. That was really pretty. Just watching them blow up in succession like that. And this is this is why I've really been getting into this game. The Mavericks are cool. The laser guided bombs are even cooler. Like just putting a laser and uh, just hitting them guys. Which is it's pretty awesome watching the bomb fall right into it. And try to this whole platoon of tanks should be nice. We got that one, and do we have another one around here. Um, I want to see the two and that one. Oh, there it is. It's right off to the uh, to the right there. And pull back up, we lose an altitude. That's what I get for uh, concentrating mainly on the. TGP. Lock that on the target. My gimbal's out of out of limits right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn right back. Target's over there. I don't know if y'all can see that black smoke right there at the river. Probably that's the wing interfering with my cameras. And once I get back in the uh, gimbal limits, should be good. Just got these two to go, and I uh, start searching for some soft targets to hit with my uh, cluster bombs. Come back in for another pass. Gimbal should be registering here in a second. There we go. Now we're registered. Go ahead and make that my sensor of interest. Zoom in a bit. Should be picking up the target. There we go. Rifle. Can't tell where the other one went. Not sure where the other vehicle went. There it is. That one guy, yep, we got three burning smoke plumes down there. I have to circle back around. Got my target. bad guys down here not seeing any at the moment doesn't mean they're not down there I really need to uh, configure a zoom key on this the way I can zoom in and look for targets so, 
My spoke plumes over there. Ball still out of limits. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in right now. Probably pull this turn a little bit more steep, harder. Gimball wants to get there. It's just not getting there right now. Should be good. Are we locked? Nope, not locked yet. There we go. Rifle. Alright, that's all my Mavericks right now. Go ahead and watch that thing explode. Turn this on TGP. Oh, dead. Beautiful. Like my uh, cluster bombs. Zoom this out. That way uh, I can go looking for some more targets. That's four dead bad guys right there. Let's see. Let's see if we can't find something hanging out. Should be a target rich environment. I'm just not seeing any targets to shoot at. Climbing high now. Do a little bit of throttle because we're uh, losing some. Things are getting in the way. That's the engines. I'm not totally sure. One thing I'm not very good at is acquiring targets. Still learning process. So this we have here. Look like anything. Now I'll go ahead and dive and see what we got down here. change up my uh, my flare settings maybe it'll be easier to pick some stuff up so I'm hoping so Nothing. Can't 
find any targets right now. It sucks. Looking down the river, it doesn't look like there's anything to blow up. This lost the bridge. Let's go ahead and uh, turn this back to center. from my other waypoint right there. Move it down. So can I get contact on the target? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, dive in and see if I can't pick something up from over there. I'm pretty high right now. I'm looking for Where's my river at Trying to find some targets My hood is not showing me anything It's way off in the distance Oh, there There's my pipper find something. I'm hoping I I do. Get a little bit low. Telltale sign is when people start shooting at you. And I'm not a f oh what's this? Ah Found me some targets. And uh get that ready to go. Get on a bomb run. Pull out of this. Looks like some artillery pieces. Try on CCIP mode. Yep. Good to go. Drop some cluster bombs on that bitch. Should be good. And I'm, I'll probably come in with guns also. Just just for shits and giggles. I am kind of high, but I can dive in real quick. Get guns on target. They're about right over there. In that little yellow field right there. So, go ahead and maneuver over. Get these bombs on target. And die. There we go. Oh, the bombs don't want to go and I'm getting shot at. Yay. Right, let's pull out of here. Let's put some guns on it. Just wants me to select one at a time. I know I went too low. Time to put guns on these targets. Oh, I hate when track IR acts stupid. Right, should be coming in good. 
dive. Oh, I lost them. Where are they? Oh, damn it. Ah, oh, there they are. Pull up, pull up. Oh no, that's not good. That is not good at all. Time to time to run away. Run away. Can't even select anything. Alright, master caution. Leaking something. Time to limp it back home. Left MFCD not ready. Sucks. Oh well. Guns aren't working. At least I'll put some uh put some rounds on those targets. So and set my autopilot. I'm gonna run home. It's gonna be a hairy little flight. something my fuel still good so I'm not leaking that let's be hairy there might be oil maybe I don't know but I got my bullet my wings all shot up so it's time to put this put it down at home it's not that damaged I can't even can't even acquire a target right now couldn't drop bombs if I wanted to that sucks I'm probably gonna jettison my stuff just so I can go ahead and land easier. Have a little less weight. This is my main fuel tank. That is why I, I'm really enjoying this game because you can put rounds on target and you know it, it takes a little practice but I mean you can learn how to do it and this freaking A-10 is a beast like if I was in anything else it would get shot down I would have been missing a wing been on fire or whatever but this A-10 is a beast it's slow and it's ugly but it'll put it'll put stuff on target with purpose 